Summer is almost here and you know what that means, mango time. Ever wondered why mango is our national fruit? Not only because we are the largest mango producing nation, producing 52% of the world's mangoes, we are also one of the largest mango consuming nations. Yes, out of more than 20.26 million metric tons of mangoes that we produce, we export only 49.6 thousand metric tons of fresh mangoes, approximately 0.25% and 123.4 thousand metric tons or approximately 0.6% of mango puree. The rest is all consumed by us. Looking at this massive love for mangoes and growing international demand, a lot of companies and startups have entered the mango business. A lot of us have fond nostalgic memories of our guardians picking out the juiciest mangoes for us. But in this era of blinket and 10 minutes delivery, who has the time to handpick mangoes? Well, worry not. Where there's a problem, there are startups solving for it. Mango delivery startups promise to deliver farm fresh, organic and chemical free mangoes straight to your doorstep. They are also providing farmers with an integrated supply chain of mangoes. Huh? Many states now allow farmers to sell mangoes directly to retailers and wholesalers and not at the mandis where they usually sell all their produce. While this opened up an avenue for farmers to earn more money from their crop than the regular mandi prices, finding wholesalers and retailers outside the mandi was a task for them. The entry of these companies into the market has made it easy for farmers to reach their customers. Many of them are also using tech to help farmers with production and packaging. However, doorstep delivery isn't the only pulp in the mango business. The global demand for mango puree is on the rise thanks to people's growing concerns with health. More and more people are moving away from products with artificial colors and flavoring and adopting good old natural products. The global mango puree market is said to be worth $2.1 billion by 2026. Don't believe us? Well, what if we told you that India Maza, a mango drink, had beaten Coke in terms of popularity in India? In FY21, Maza saw sales worth 2,826 crore rupees, which was much more than that of Coke's, whose exact numbers weren't revealed, according to a company official. Plus, the government of India is working tooth and nail to increase our mango exports. We've been holding mango festivals and mango fairs to highlight our mango diversity. We've secured exporting rights to Bahrain and the US recently. Other countries like Argentina and Malaysia are also showing interest in Indian mangoes. And these companies' chemical-free, sustainably packed mangoes may just be the thing that convinces these countries to buy from them. We've talked about all the rosy aspects of the mango industry, but like any other industry, this industry also faces some challenges. Farmers' production and yield have gone down in recent years, so these companies will have to leverage tech to improve this. Many mango producing states like Gujarat, Maharashtra and Karnataka have seen an extreme rise in temperature in the last few years impacting mango production. Plus, the industry is restricted by the fact that mango is a seasonal fruit. If these companies could help develop and produce seeds that were resistant to climate change, there would be no stopping them. And a lot of opportunities also exist in making sun-dried mango and mango seed variants that last longer. Can't stop thinking of mangoes now? Drop a hundred in the comments and rush off to buy your favorite mangoes. Oh, and remember us when you have those yummy mangoes. See you in the next episode. Jai Hind!